Justin, any tears today? I didn't see any actual tears, but I did see a lot of what I did this morning when I rolled over and looked at my phone. What just happened there? Not only because John Beeline won basketball games on the court, but as Brad just alluded to, he was just a gentleman and awesome human being off of it. That's what most people miss when they voice their displeasures that John Beeline is no longer the head coach of the Wolverines. Welcome back to Inside the Huddle Sports Talk 1050 WTK The Ticket. I think this is just a cash grab for John. I think he's 67 years old. He knows he's going to have maybe 24, 36 months in the league. He's going to get himself a nice paycheck and be done with it. Zero to 100. What's your what's your shock level here? Uh, in the 90s. Yeah. In the 90s for sure. <laughs> I did not see this coming at all. And seemingly, no one did. The college coaches I spoke to today, some had made reference to some tiny rumors they heard, but nothing stuck out beyond the normal hearsay. But the news that the all-time winningest coach in Michigan basketball history is heading to the NBA is a tough pill to swallow. I think for Michigan fans, it is undeniably disappointing with no real upside, I don't think. Frankly, some things are just bad news. This is bad news for Michigan. Everywhere you look, it was shockwaves with the news this morning, especially in the college basketball realm. On campus in Ann Arbor, the M Den store, certainly no different. It feels like someone died, which is a little extreme, but it kind of just feels like shock at the moment. Like no one really would ever imagine Michigan basketball without him. It meant a lot to the university, it meant a lot to the, the basketball program. So sad a little bit because it's kind of like losing a family member in a way, moving away. Beeline leaves behind a legacy that so far is unmatched, and there's good reason for fans to feel the way they do. They're losing a legend. Final fours, of course, a couple Big Ten titles, regular season, a couple in the tournament, but kept it clean. He's the best Michigan coach of all time on and off the court. And that's certainly high praise for Michigan, who had plenty of good coaches, especially in the football realm as well. I ran into one of the players earlier today. He was a freshman. He came out of the, the player development center, and he kind of was spooked by all the cameras that were out there. But I said, hey, what do you guys got going on today? How did you find out? He said, I find out the same way everybody else found out, looking this morning on their phones and seeing the breaking news. They are in a team meeting right now. It started at 430. We're going to camp out here, and we'll stay with the latest if they do come out here and have anything more to say about the departure. I can't imagine that's a fun meeting to be sitting in right now if you're a player or one of the coaches who's seeing John Beeline take off. Reporting live in Ann Arbor, Justin Rose, 7 Action Sports. What a day for the Wolverines. Thank you so much, Justin. And for more on the future of the Wolverines and possible replacements, head to our website, WXYZ.com.